Ciao guys and welcome back to Lempis. As you know, the new Lamp is all about keeping a healthy lifestyle and a healthy relationship or a happy relationship with Bubuchino, of course. And when it comes to that, I think one of the things that cause frustration, not only in marriages, I want to focus this video on relationships, mm -hmm. is money. money. So, this video is going to be about couple man money management or couple financial management or couple financial management. <laughs> you had it a whole lot, but you know, in two words, couple and money. What else? Couple money. Yes. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment and like, of course, the video. The question of the day is how do you manage money in your relationship? Yes. Yeah, before we get to the video and how we're currently managing our money, we just wanted to say a little bit about how was our financial situation before we met each other. I mean, we met each other when we were 25 years old. So yeah, but how was your financial we situation? Before? I was broke, <laughs> to be honest, I was broke. I didn't used to work, or I mean, I used to <laughs> do like... Uh, summer jobs just to get enough money to plan maybe a trip with friends uh, or having some cash aside uh, to go out and hang out with friends but i didn't have any financial situation to be honest so you were always living with your parents and things like basic needs food stuff were always provided by your parents yes so you definitely didn't have to think about that of course of course yes now for me um I left home when I was quite young and I'm already used to for a very long time since I was 13 my parents would give me some money and with this money I have to decide so that the money usually only comes once a month and with that money which was very very little you have to kind of budget it and mm -hmm. decide how much you're going to spend on food how much you're going to spend on cosmetic and maybe on a little cosmetic bit of and food at the same level no, food has to be more cosmetic, a little bit low, and maybe kind of, a little bit of transport if you want to go somewhere. So, mm -hmm. I was not making my own money. Mm -hmm. However, the money that I was getting from my parents were more like my income. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How is it when we met? When we met, I'm actually my situation was pretty much the same. Um, yeah, I had I think 800 euros on my account that uh, I saved uh, thanks to a summer job that I had the summer before I, I left and then I was pretty much still broke and still depending on my parents. Of course I was getting some small salaries from the, the scholarship but that was it. Yeah, so when we met I was still living by myself at the uni and then in Germany and I had some uh, money from, I was doing student jobs and then I was also getting some money for my scholarship. And who was paying for who when we met? Mm. Uh, that is interesting. I was paying for most of the things. I mean, um, I don't know. I had in my mind this, uh, this mentality of the men should be paying for everything. Okay, to be honest, we were not seeing each other a lot because after... I finished my exchange uh, uh, study program, I went back to Italy, so we were seeing each other. It was a long distance relationship. We were seeing each other once every two or three months. Three months, one weekend every three and, months. And uh, every time she was coming, I was like, yes, then I have to show off uh, and I have to be the man that is paying for everything. So all the trips that we have done, uh, uh, hotels, restaurants, and other stuff were paid by me, but... You were uh, rich, yeah? You no, I was I was broke, but I was, I don't Impressing. know, I was trying to impress you, I guess, or, oh, I don't know, I was just, it's just the Italian mentality, uh, men should be paying for everything. I just remember when you went on our first date, mm -hmm. I had to pay, because I was really fighting to pay. Yes. You remember that? And you yeah, felt yes. really embarrassed that I had to pay. Yeah, I I mean, for me, it was absolutely... I, I wanted because I invited you on a date, so yeah, I, I asked you on a date. That is true, but for me, it's <laughs> absolutely strange that uh, somebody that I goes uh, uh, out with, like a girl that I goes out with, uh, pay for uh, for the dinner, even though you, would be, you were the one inviting me. Yeah. And we are married now, we are a married couple, so we manage our finances completely different. Yes, in Let different me say, way. It's not marriage hasn't changed much, but since we started living together, mm -hmm. 
things have changed. So when we started living together, there wasn't a lot of money to manage. There was barely nothing to manage. Yes. The only thing we we're really doing is being stingy and save every single cent, cent that, we, had. that yes. we have had. But at least I was just happy because we we're trying to do that together. Yes. You save the little that you had and I had. I was also trying to save the little that we had. Restaurant, I think we used to go to the restaurant maybe once in six months, even though the restaurant... But we were we cooking all the time, uh, though. Yes. Yeah, and now, how are things working now that we are both workers? Who pays for what? We pay 50-50. Everything is paid 50-50. We decided to create uh, a joint account that uh, in which each of us is paying is uh, putting some money per month and with that we pay all the basic expenses of the house so we have the groceries uh, electricity internet uh, uh, rent everything is paid through this account best thing for us to do was really create a third account yes which is common and which is for everything we spend together including trips and stuff and this so far i think it works very well situations before when we didn't manage our money very well as a couple the first three years we've lived together we were saving of course we were trying to buy less but we were always because we didn't have a common account yes everything would buy who i had to refund paid, you yes who has paid who and then uh, you have to give me back the money yeah. that didn't really make sense it was a huge mess and every time I we had and that we had to go back on who paid who we forgot ah, i paid you that did i already refund you this i don't remember yeah. now the second thing that also works very well when it comes to managing our money as a couple or two people in a relationship is creating a yearly budget yep now this is something which i think is very good especially when you do it at the beginning of the year in january you just have a look, the two of you together, how much money you think you'll be making this year, mm -hmm. how much money you think you'll be spending on basic things. I'm talking about food, yes. I'm talking about electricity, water, car rentals, including uh, if you're paying also loans for the car or loans for the house, so all that is taken out. Yes. Then you know how much is left, then you can decide already how much is probably going to be there for holiday and how much could be saved. Yep very good when you do this together you have like a common goal for you as a couple and you work in this direction absolutely then on the side you have everything extra that you can also put on your home account this year budget works absolutely amazing, amazing way 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 better than a budget month to month or week to week excellent and as you said <laughs> when you create this budget you know all the expenses that the household has comes with and uh, that gives you also the amount of money that you have to put on the common, uh, that each of you have to put on the common account monthly. Yes, yes. Yeah, now another thing is also always keep tracking your expenses. What I have done before, especially I'm very guilty of that, you just sign up an internet contract, then you think I'm paying 50 and you never checked. Yes. So it's, it's important that you're always checking because some of these contracts later on, after a year or so they increase so it's always good to keep checking so you also know when it's time to change because you can always call them and ask for a, a special so they can reduce your prices because they never when it comes to tracking expenses also for the food we try all the time to Alice's favorite method is always every time you buy something we collect receipts and we also calculate at the end of the month to have a look if that still fit within what we have dedicated to the groceries. Yeah, that's what that it used to be. That is also very nice. I, I work the other way around. I put 200. If 200 is out, I don't know. The last week I'm eating apples or I'm eating porridge at home until that is good. the, you the, can the other fund. So either way works perfectly. Yes, you can but what works for the you. fact is, if you collect a receipt, you are going to know if you have stick to the budget that you have created just at the end of the month when you are doing the accounting. If you instead do the Lempis method in which you take out 200 euros, 400 euros, how much you have budget for the monthly uh, spending for groceries and you put it on uh, like the house uh, uh, wallet, then you know <laughs> after that money, the cat money, cash money are finished, you can't buy anything else. Then pasta, tomato sauce, salt and pepper, we always have them in the house. So that's the last week of the month. Another thing that we also, when it comes to, of course, managing money for us as a couple it's not only spending it's also mm -hmm. how you're making and i think it's very important 
for us at the beginning of our relationship we were both focused also on making sure that we have ways mm -hmm. that we can work on together on making extra income one yes. of them which is um, our stock market investing if you haven't seen that yet please check the video up here we do a new series also just about that and uh, apart from that what else we, do? we did also some minor investing here on there where they or sell some things on eBay <laughs> was also a thing before. and of course our but, other yeah. projects YouTube they're also giving us a little <laughs> revenue <laughs> per month yes the very last thing when it comes to managing money in a relationship it's really both of you have to decide or you have to agree on living within your means because otherwise your debts are going to be mine yes when you don't have money anymore I have to compensate that and live within your means. I live within my means and we have a deal I mean that is like that is the thing if you have a balance 50 50 and every each of you is contributing 50 50 to the household expenses etc all the financial decisions should be also taken be 50, taken 50. together so you can be like okay hey baby i bought a uh, 40000 euros car do you like it no and you don't <laughs> of course am, she's yes, going to or not going to like it but okay, you know course, sometimes all, it's my money I'm that thing, every yeah, day, but it's sometimes right, sometimes that happens especially when uh, there is only one of you that is taking money into the household and <laughs> contributing to expensive because you know i'm the one uh, working so i should be the one taking the also this kind of decision I think if both of you are working, maybe you have you can contribute 50-50 if it's a possibility, it's fine. But I think even if you're not contributing 50-50, it's just fair that you both have a common goal of how you want to spend the money or understanding of how you want to spend the money mm -hmm. and things you want to spend the money on, regardless of who is bringing money in the house wallet. Because mm -hmm. in some situation, maybe you have a stay-home mom, a stay home mom with three or two kids is a full time job. I would also understand if the man is the only one bringing in the cash, it's understandable. The important thing is really both of you sit down and you say, This is how we want to spend the money. And then none of you should decide, make this weird, strange, expensive decision on their own. Like, ah, okay. So, anyways, guys, so that was it for today's from us. And uh, nothing. If you like my earrings, tell me what you think about it because Ali doesn't like them. I think no, I think I find them. They, they they look cute on you. I I will not choose that for myself. <laughs> Obviously, of course you don't need to, but I think they're nice. And they're a little uh, extra. Know, but used to have, to have earrings. Ah yes, Ali used to have earrings back in the day. So if you enjoy this video, guys. Give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and most important, leave a comment in the comment section before. Like we have mentioned before, we'd like to know from you, how do you manage money in your relationship? We can learn. We're also here to learn things. We don't know Absolutely. everything. We're not expert. We still also make a lot of mistakes. I think the only thing that I'm proud of about us is that we are willing to, to learn. talk. And also to talk about money. Bye! Please leave an accompaniment. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> you go. <good. laughs> Don't stop laughing. <laughs> if you are new, to, <clears throat> if you are new to the channel, don't remember. <laughs> okay. No, I need to say it. I need Why? To be Why? Why? You... <laughs> so. Wait, wait, please.